Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial for my beauty channel. Today's tutorial is going to be the dramatic look using the Subtle Berries Quad from L'Oreal. To see the more natural look for this quad, you can go here. But if you'd like to see how this dramatic look comes about, stay tuned. The first step to this look is taking this dark purple, which is the darkest color in the palette, and applying that to my lid. And to do that, I'm just going to take a sponge tip applicator. So I'm just going to start on the lid. And go out. Just going back over and I'm just going to take it just a little bit over the crease. The next step to this look is taking this very lightest purple shade and applying it from my crease up to my brow. And to do that, I'm just going to use a eyeshadow brush like this. But you can use any eyeshadow brush that you like. I'm just going to take it from here all the way up to the brow till it meets up with that dark purple. The next step in this look is taking this white shade and applying it just under my brow bone. And to do that, I'm going to take a small eyeshadow brush and it's just going to go right under the brow bone. The next step is taking the mid-tone purple, this color right here, and applying it to my crease. And for that step, I'm going to use my trusty crease brush, and I'm just going to go right in here into the crease, kind of blending in with that darker purple. The next step in this look is taking the big fluffy end of my dual brush and just blending everything out. I'm just going to take it, blend out any of the harsh lines and kind of blend all those tones together. And finally for the actual eye, I'm just going to take some more of that dark purple shadow and just touch up on the lid. The next step for this look is of course the eyeliner. This look I'm going to do two eyeliners, one for my under eye and one for my waterline. The one that I'm going to use for my under eye is from Rimmel. and it's in the color burgundy. Now normally burgundy is typically like a dark maroon color, but this is actually more of a purple that matches my dark purple eyeshadow. And it looks like this. So I'm just gonna line underneath my eye. Basically what this does is give my eyeshadow something to hold on to when I put a little bit of eyeshadow on my lower lash line. What I'm going to do next is dip back into the original dark purple shade in my eyeshadow quad and I'm going to just go right over with the tip of my sponge tip applicator right over where I just placed that eyeliner to give it a smoked out effect. Of course, as I said, I'm using two eyeliners, so the next eyeliner is going to be for my waterline. I'm going to use Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner. The color I'm using is Sapphire. And of course, as the name suggests, Sapphire is just a really nice, deep, navy blue color. And to apply the eyeliner to my waterline, I'm just going to use the little small brush that comes with them. 
just going to go in here. And this just gives a very nice surprise of color instead of just having your normal black or gray. So that's it for this look. All I'm going to do is curl my lashes and add some mascara and I'll be right back. And that's the finished eye look. So that's how this dramatic look using L'Oreal's Subtle Berries Quad comes about. I hope you like this look. You can see the more natural look using this quad by going here. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.